Hi, this is a video to help students with exam revision for Cutting Edge Intermediate Unit 4. In this unit we studied grammar on Present Perfect and Past Simple and also Present Perfect Simple and Present Perfect Continuous. So there's quite a lot of heavy grammar there. The vocabulary we did was life events and personal qualities. So first of all, let's look at the grammar. So these are two very important tenses when you want to talk about things, especially in the past. So to compare them, I'm going to show two pictures of men you would know in this country, Sheikh Zayed, peace be upon him, and Sheikh Khalifa. So here are two sentences. Sheikh Zayed ruled Abu Dhabi for 38 years. Sheikh Khalifa has ruled Abu Dhabi since 2004. So they're both past sounding because we have ED, but what is the difference? What does this has mean? Well, basically, when we just use ruled with ED, it's a finished time. Sheikh Zayed ruled, but that is finished now. Sheikh Khalifa has ruled. It began in the past, 2004, and it continues in the present. He is still the president of the country and the ruler of Abu Dhabi. So this is the difference between past simple and past per present perfect. That they look similar, but this has makes a big difference. Actually, when you say it, it doesn't sound much. Sheikh Khalifa has ruled, it gets very closed, but it makes a big difference in meaning. Here's a couple more sentences. Sheikh Zayed did many good things for the country. It's finished. Sheikh Khalifa has done many good things for the country. So this is the same sentence, but it means he is still doing good things for this country. Sheikh Zayed was a good leader. Sheikh Khalifa has been a good leader. So we're still talking about them in the present. So let's look at the form of these tenses. Present perfect first. Past simple we've done before. So I'm only going to do that very briefly. So for I, we say, I have studied English for five years. I have studied English for five years. For he or she or it, we would say he has studied English. In the negative, we'd say I haven't studied or he hasn't studied English for five years. And for the question, we put the have at the start. Have I studied English? Has he studied English? So try to remember this form. Perfect uses have. That's what we try to remember with perfect. Past simple, I'll do very, very quickly. It's I studied English in high school. No verb, uh, auxiliary verb. There's just the verb with ED. And the negative, I didn't study English in high school. And the question, did you study English in high school? So notice this difference in the negative and the question in present perfect, we still use the past, id, id. But in the past simple, the past is in did, did you study? It goes back to the infinitive form here. Look at this sentence. I have made a lot of new friends. Now what I'm trying to show here is studied is easy because it's ED. But if you remember in the past simple, we have irregular pasts. So this is a past participle. And a past participle is slightly different to an irregular past verb form. So we have the normal verb, make. We have the past, made. And then we have the past participle, which is also made, but not always. So I have made a lot of new friends. If you look at these verbs, run, cut, break, go. They're a bit different in the irregular past. So we have for run, run, ran, run. The past participle, I have run, is the same as the original verb. Then we have verbs like cut, 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 cut. It's the same in all forms. Then we have break, and it's different in all forms. I break, I broke, I have broken, broken, with an N at the end. And then sometimes 
we have something completely different. This is English after all. We have go, went, and gone. I have gone is the present perfect of, of I went. So I'm really sorry, but irregular pasts, you just have to learn. And if you thought it was difficult learning all the pasts, you now have to learn the past participles. But as you become used to them, you build them up, you'll, you'll get familiar with the use of them. So, a bit more to look at with present perfect simple past simple. We're going to move on to the subject of food. I hope you're not hungry. Uses of the present perfect. I have eaten healthy food for two years. This means I started eating healthy food two years ago and I still eat it now. I, eat, I have eaten for two years. It started two years ago, now I eat. I have cooked dinner. It means something a bit different. This one. I cooked dinner before, but we didn't eat it yet. I've eaten a lot this week. So this doesn't mean you've been eating for the whole week, it just means that the week is not finished. And then, I've eaten in a lot of good restaurants. This is just an experience, something you've done in your whole life. I've eaten a lot of good restaurants. So this is the main uses of the present perfect. And then, this Oh, let me just reduce my picture on the other side. Now let's look at time phrases with past simple and time phrases of the present perfect. This is a lot of work as well. I can't, there's a lot of grammar in this unit. Past simple, we had these ones in red. And what do they mean? So notice I'm using eat in the past now. Eat in the past is eight. I ate in a lot of good restaurants in 2019. It's a time, in 2019. I ate a sandwich 20 minutes ago. Lots of people say before, but that is wrong. Ago is how you say before with the past simple. I ate some pasta yesterday. Yesterday is what we say for the day before today. I ate some fish last week. You can say this, last month, last year. I didn't eat healthy food for two years. Now notice here, I've said I have eaten healthy food for two years. Here, I didn't eat. You can still say this for, but the time is in the past. It's finished now. I ate some fruit this morning. It means now is this afternoon or this evening. The morning is finished. And then you have words like then after that in the end. When you're telling a story, you would use these kind of words to tell them. Now let's look at present perfect. Well, we have one or two here, four and this week. So, I've eaten healthy food for two years. We know this. It just means the time is not finished. I've eaten healthy food since 2018. These two things actually mean the same thing. Currently, we're in 2020. But since is the time, whereas two, four is with the length of time. I've eaten whole food, healthy food all my life. What this just means all my life. I've eaten a lot of food this week. Same like uh, this morning, but the problem is, the difference is, sorry, this week is not finished. We give this example here. Questions you might ask, have you ever eaten camel meat? This is asking about a life experience. Have you ever, have you ever? I have never eaten camel meat. This just means not in my life. And then we have these three, already, yet, and just. I've already eaten my lunch means I've done before now. You're giving special meaning. I haven't eaten my lunch yet. This means I've not done it. And the yet goes at the end. And then we have I've just eaten my lunch, which is actually in the past and it's finished. So it should be past simple. But when it's really recently, so it means it's like a couple of minutes ago, that's when we use present perfect for this. So... A lot to take on board with all the form and all these time phrases, so this was quite a difficult uh, grammar point to learn. Now we move on to life events. So they gave about 15 or 20 words uh, connected to life events and they fit more or less into these categories. Your home, your family, your school and your work. So let's look at home. We have leave home, move home, rent a house or buy a house. So you think you understand these. Rent is when you 
go to a house but you don't own it you just pay money every month or every year to live there then for family we have fall in love get engaged this means before you get married and you promise to get married get married then to stop a marriage get divorced you can have children and you can bring up children so having children is the actual baby bring up is giving them character giving them education as they grow older school start school leave school pass your exams go to university and graduate and then work get a job change job get a promotion so go to a higher job lose your job quit your job these are slightly different quit lose your job someone tells you to go quit your job it's your choice to go make a lot of money and retire this is what happens when you grow older you have enough money and you stop working so lots more words here to learn and to talk about your life events and you would use the present simple and the present perfect uh, past simple and present perfect to talk about these things more tenses present perfect simple and present perfect continuous so these are really close in meaning but let's just look at the form why are this man's hands dirty well we can see he has been changing attire this has been changing is present perfect continuous it's not present perfect simple mainly because it has this ing so we have actually have three verbs has been changing we use the present perfect continuous for something which is temporary or it's been repeated and started in the past and has an effect on the present. So it's a bit more talking about the action continuing and repeating. That's when we use continuous. So look at these examples. I've been learning to drive for many years. It means it's taken a long time and it is repeating. You're expressing how long it's taken. I've been driving all day. It means that the day is not finished. Maybe you're tired and you're trying to express that it's continuing. Another example, a bit like this one. Why are you wet? I've been washing the car. It's like this one. It means it's explaining what's happening in the present. And I've been using my brother's car. My car is in the garage, you might say. This means it's a temporary, it's a short term thing. So these are the examples of when we would use present perfect continuous. Again, let's look at the form. It's very similar to the present perfect simple. I have, he has, been, we need to put be, and then we put the verb with in, changing. Negative, I haven't been changing the tire. Question, have I been changing the tire? Things to remember. Look at these two sentences. I've lived in Dubai for 10 years. I've been living in Dubai for 10 years. These more or less mean the same thing. There's very little difference here. But these, uh, look at this, same like with the perfect simple. I've been working here for six months is a length of time. I've been working here since May is a point in time. We often use these when we're using present perfect continuous to talk about the length of time. I've had 10 jobs since I graduated. When we use the number of times, 10, we tend to use the simple, not the continuous. We use continuous for a length of time, not the number of times. And I've known my best friend for a long time. When it's a verb like know, like, want, hate, understand, become, these are state verbs. We use the simple, not the continuous. And then finally, we had personal qualities. So I think there were 12 words relating to personal qualities. Some of them were difficult to spell. Charming, courageous. I think this picture is courageous, jumping across a big gap. Creative, dedicated, determined, egotistical. I think this man is a bit egotistical. He seems concerned with his appearance quite a lot. Inspiring, obsessive. Then we have original, ruthless, self-confident, and talented. This young Emirati man is a, a talented painter, you might say. 
So these are words related to personal qualities which you could use to describe yourself in your work or your, your studies. Okay, so remember in this unit it was a lot to study, present perfect and past simple, present perfect simple and present perfect continuous, the life events and personal qualities. Good luck with your revision.